Greetings, 07 star citizens. Citizens. Citizens in general. Alela. Fuck me. First off, I really want to thank everybody for joining the channel. Since I started making content on Star Citizen, it's been a huge response from you guys. The community is beautiful and I am loving it. I never felt so welcome. Next video we're about to watch is gonna be Squadron 42. I held the line. As a new player, I can give you the perspective as, as, as much as I can. So I, I can't wait to see what the single player uh, la, 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 part of Star Citizen. So I can't wait to see what single player player is gonna. La, 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 la. There's gonna be a lot of cuts in this one. What single player part of Star Citizen is gonna be about? Pa, pa, pa. Let's go. Let's watch the video. Yeah. I don't know. Let's go. Let's go. Let's relax. Getting some, getting some radio signals over here. I mean, radio communication. Archangel 6, come in. Go for 6. Ooh, we got a Vanguard flying in. Uh, yes. Scanning that. Vega system. Supposed to be 100 systems in the game. Heard so much. United Empire of Earth. I wonder. But we have another 900 years to go, Doke and plus. This probably means much more to somebody that uh, knows the lore of the game. Krugeri. Can somebody explain that, please? Maybe it's just something new, I'm not sure. This movie does look... <laughs> See? This scene does look like a movie, honestly. Oh! We got command ships, I think I see... No, that's not a constellation, no. It's something bigger. Ooh, a hammerhead. Two hammerheads. A lot of main ships, uh, mother ships. Can't wait to see that actually in the game. I've been playing for uh, for a month now. I got the Toby and the and the whole setup's coming along. Next week, VKB Gladiators, man. Mm. It's about to get epic. I know I just wrote you, but a couple hmm. of hours ago, proximity sensors so on the other side, side of the jump got twigged. Sweet. Where is it? Might be that clan we've been battling with. So, we're gonna have to make a character, and then the character can be either male or female, and it changes the voice, it changes everything, and they even voice acted uh, both both genders, maybe even different voice. Let's let's take a look. I guess that last fight didn't scare them, them off, off quite like we all hoped it would. Yes, actually. Honestly. Oh my God, this game so took long, work. I don't know what to pull for anymore. I just, I just wanted to let you know. I'll ride as soon as I can. Stay safe. Look at all this to mother. So. Oh. Like, I'm 3,000 kilometers away from home. Imagine if you were 30 million thousand, 30 million, 30 million thousand kilometers away. <laughs> if that's even real. Wait, 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 wait. Never gets old, does it? Sir. It is. 30 billion. I the same thing when I was first coming up. Post up to the flight deck whenever I could to watch the launches. Right on. This is one of the actress. Uh, the there's going to be a lot of celebrities in the game. No, sir. Madam. I think's a beast. Nimble too. Twelve maneuvering thrusters Look and three at those facial animations. Like 
Sir. Madam. And she has different colored eyes. Look at that. Is it? No, no, no. There's the light. Jesus, the light affects the eye. Well, it's maybe just a CGI. I mean, it's a cutscene. I saw you apply to the Flight Academy again. Yes, sir. Madam. Keep your head up. Took me a couple times before I got in. Thank you, sir. So he got a, a little bit ahead of himself, but then uh, she's a cool lady. She don't mind. But we have to know, we have to know our place over here. So we're gonna be starting as a rookie without any, any, uh, we can't even fly the ship. We're trying to apply for the, for the flight license. What? Welcome to Cloud Imperium Games Manchester Studio. I'm Chris Roberts, and I'm pleased to announce that was we've real life. a major milestone. Squadron 42 is now feature complete, and is This is how good the graphics are. I, I thought that's real life, actually. ...presented its polished face. To celebrate this milestone... I mean, I thought it's a game. ...some of our core leadership together to share what this means. Chris Roberts. You got it, man, you got it. His vision is something else. As Chris says, we've moved into the polish phase of Squadron 42, which means extra emphasis on ensuring things feel fun. Woo, that's this leggy. is focusing on the small and large elements of the game, such as dialing in, combat and characters, but, they are in but also phase. looking at the feel of how you control your character or vehicle and making sure it's... Oh, oh, wait a second, this is a, a HUD. What do we have here? He's flying in a... He's flying in the Gladius. There's velocity meter, right? Gimbal, it says fixed. Okay, so you can lock and unlock gimbals, range. It displays the range. AFT remaining. I'm not sure what AFT is. He's targeting a Drake Buccaneer. Oh, I'm going to learn so much about ships then. Because as a new player, I'm not really... I don't know every ship. And I envy the, the players that, like, speak in, in riddles for me still. SCM is a shooting mode. That's okay. Zoom, you could zoom in. Right, decoy, noise. Okay, okay. Is that the number of decoys and noise we have probably? Cool. It's immersive as possible. We've paid extra attention to how your character reacts when in their ship, so that you feel like an actual pilot. Whether that's firing your weapons, taking hits, or punching the afterburners to get to cover. The sound in the ship. The AI has also seen huge improvements with closer engagement distances and more varied behaviors. And with our new precision targeting mode, the action has never been as close. Finally, the aim now- Master modes are coming in and I just started playing them in uh, Wink Commander. Sorry, no, that's the, the Arena Commander. <laughs> And uh, and I see what's it all about. You really do fight like uh, you're not jousting anymore. You're f you're fighting actually close in close proximity. It looks epic, especially with uh, with extra gadgets like uh, OBI tracker and the and the sticks. Now on polish, we've organized the project into self-sufficient strike teams, so we can focus on individual areas to deliver the best experience. We can drive boats. So we could, we can, in, even now in Star Citizen, we can drive ground vehicles. Old man, I think, is Mark Hamilton. All disciplines together, with a unified vision of enhancing the gameplay by seamlessly blending it with polished visuals, final cinematic performance. Did I see a Drake uh, black? Yeah, yeah, that's it, that's it for sure. You didn't see the boat, kid. Good to keep going. Yeah. Oh my god. This is so cool. We're also dialing in gameplay features, such as the ship flight model, for both atmosphere and space, which covers master modes, control surfaces, and our gold standard HUD and MFDs. Awesome. Our interaction system. Ah, for let's both see the, the FPS. And your okay. character have also seen additional improvements allowing us to hone and craft environmental puzzles unique to each location, while allowing us to tell the story of the world around you. Oh, look at the map. That's coming in soon now, in 323, in Star Citizen. Philemon, this reminds me of prison. 
Not really, but just the console, the, the terminal. The military multi-tool is an essential piece of equipment for every pilot that integrates all attachments into a single handheld device and allows us to create really interesting challenges, including okay. physics-based puzzles using our updated rope tech. They can really go wild with this one, yeah. I can see that happening. And that looks good. This is the UEE Navy. Power down your ships and stand by for processing. The Our scanning, targeting and marker system has also seen an overhaul, allowing us to highlight only the essential information that you need, such as key objectives, mission what? targets and high-level scan information. Yeah, it's a Drake Buccaneer. No, it's not. Sorry, possible. that was... Yeah, it is Drake Buccaneer. Oh, my God. Oh yeah, we have those FPS now in Star Citizen. Citizen. Which has seen a suite of improvements. Arena from Commander. improved looting, weapon okay. feel and balance, realistic scopes, and smoother locomotion. Still, all of these things are coming in Star Citizen FPS now. FPS radar and scanner. I can't that wait. That provide you an overview Ooh. of the battlefield, but at the cost of ramping up your own emissions. We've also seen the introduction of our Maelstrom-powered destructible environments, which adds a layer of dynamism to the experience, alongside our improved AI that can now have hundreds of combinations of traits that allow us to create unique and challenging combat encounters that really push your tactical awareness and skill. Awesome, you can see through the through the armor and probably the damage of body parts uh, that you've done to them, like you could go tactical with uh, where you aim at. If nothing, it looks cool. And I love the sound of the weapon as well. They sound kind of blunt, strong, but uh, it's still a, still a bullet. What is that? Is that kind of a scanning thing, or how does he activate the uh, the see through thingy? And do they fall normal? Let me see. What do they do there? Uh -huh. Oh yeah, that's okay, that's okay, yeah. That seems done. A little bit glitching on the floor, like twitching, but yeah, it's in polish phase. We play and review the build Not finish phase. <laughs> and call our action points in each level from start to finish on where we need to improve the gameplay. Okay. This is an incredibly rewarding stage of development for me and the team. I can it's imagine the after those, the all those years. Realized allowing us to craft an experience that we can be really proud of. One specific area that I'm excited to dive in is the feeling of the player interacting with the world around them. Patching you in. It's already beautiful. As it's a core component of Squadron and really grounds the world that you inhabit. We've made sure that any interaction in the environment is physically represented by a character. By the way, that new EVA uh, where, where he was gliding, um, it's coming also in 323. Well, everybody knows that people watching this video are veterans, and thank you. ...to animation, to keep you in the moment and fully immerse you in the experience that we've created. Ultimately, this is the final phase of gameplay iteration mm -hmm. before we fully transition into optimization and stability... What, 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 what was that? ...to release. That quantum drive looked a bit drift, different. What was that? Come back. Trips me out to see terraforming setups like this. Web tried what? explaining how atmosphere processors work. Oh, it shows how far dude. we've come. Oh my god. Hell is she? A man made planet or atmosphere or something. Days. Wow. We've had the opportunity to find additional moments within okay. the existing narrative to add subtle interactions where appropriate. It's been tremendously exciting to play through these areas and find places to augment the mood, support gameplay, and further embellish our story and characters. My um, I, I, lord. I can't believe it. They said I've got to wait another two years before I can reapply. It's a scam. So, um, so that's why I figured I'd get a job trying try in security, because that's, um, you know, I can get some hours flying in the cockpit and whatnot. Can't hurt, right? Exactly. 
We've also been capturing pickups for our lead. No one fear that I had is going to be uh, that it's going to be repetitive. But so far of what I've seen, there's a lot of system that, that, that's, that will make it impossible to be repetitive. Even if the game is like 40, 60, 40 to 60 hours long, even 80. Like, I, I'm sure it's not going to be repetitive, man. I'm looking forward to this. Lead female player character, as well as wild lines for our various enemies that you all will encounter throughout the game on both foot and in your cockpit. These consist of a range of responses and reactions that okay. you as the player can trigger, which has been the culmination of efforts by the gameplay and AI teams. This means that you're going to have to tangle with some very smart and reactive bad guys to complete hmm. your mission. Okay. So they're going to EVA out of the ship, jump out of the ship into the space, and then... What? At the heart of this immersive adventure, you'll find cutting-edge oh, cinematic for storytelling, thoughtfully crafted to fully immerse you. Oh, look at this little, little today. braid. So cute. So in 40 years from now, when you're surrounded by everything and everyone you hold dear, and they ask, what did you do in the Battle of Vega? Hmm. You can look them in the eye and say, I held the line. You guys did. I and just joined. the second fleet. I am proud to stand with you today. Hmm. Good luck. Bishop out. Bishop. Ah, man, every space game, okay, it has nice to have space. a bishop in it. Any word from the recon team? This Not also yet. looks like a familiar... Well, let's get into position. Hector. A French actor, something, René or something, I'm not sure. But it does remind me of that face is familiar. All right, commanding ship. Scene. It's gonna, no. Throughout the right. Polish phase, our team is taking every opportunity to push things to the next level. Mm -hmm. Tell me you're expecting company. Ah, yes, Listen, the star. Good. The Cine team is focused on finalizing edit lock on all of our big action, as well as all smaller character sequences. I could have pulled this off of the Galactopedia. Yeah, probably, but I think their solar mass calculations are wrong. Holy crap, is that... Well, this is ridiculous. How so? We are now able Wait, to adjust that's our shot composition to final cameras, thanks to recently crafted space vistas and level art being content complete now. Be nice to know how much of a shitstorm we're flying into. There like is a, a game. Storm blue, one you ain't gonna fly out of. <laughs> Shut up. Holy crap. I hadn't seen another ship that wasn't trying to kill me in days, let alone a hauler, let alone a Jean. So you can imagine my surprise. Detailed lighting passes can be done. And the eyes, how they move, so they're so natural. And convey their emotions in the best light possible. Yep. And we're yep, making sure oh. our cinematics are triggering as fluid as we can craft them so they form a coherent concerto with the rest of the player's narrative experience. Mr. Wexler, this is Lieutenant Commander Colton. Oh, Commander, hey. Julian Wexler, I'm the field manager of this little operation. Hmm. Welcome aboard the Archon. What brings the Navy to this little corner of the universe? We got you flying with Lieutenant Commander Colton. New you voice. As others will share, this is the most rewarding chapter of development, which allows us to truly experience the visceral and oftentimes emotional moments that our narrative provides. I love how this looks here. Yeah. How did you handle it after Vega? I am amazed by how this looks. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not sure I handled anything. It helps to remember that stuff like this is supposed to hurt. Mm-hmm. I've never been good at dealing with problems I can't fix. Oh. This is one that you don't have to do alone. And that's our player over here, character. That's good to know. Man, I can't wait for this. For the animation teams, polish phase means refining the social aspects of Squadron 42 that occur between the various missions and getting the behaviors implemented across all of its chapters. Here we're dialing in the hangar to make it as immersive and believable an experience as possible. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. 
I love it. A lot of people are moving around. A lot of stuff is happening as well. Got gladiator, gladiators parked down. That's okay. And I don't know which ship was coming in. For but example, hey. we're launching off a space I'm carrier, here. but we still ground the feel in real world actions. Refueling, repairing, and inspecting. And mm -hmm. making sure that your next flight mission is a success. This means we're looking out for pops, hiccups, or awkward transitions, and ensuring that everything flows and looks like all the great mocap performances we've captured. Man, I can't. That's right. Can't some extra even. Ice packs out of storage. Whenever gunners was he? Was he checking out her? Back? At least one of them getting hurt. We also have you covered in everyday life. The medical staff work diligently for their patients, whether they're players or crew. The movements look all, looks also natural. Um... We really want you to feel part of an authentic crew, an important part of the UEE Navy in an enormous universe of people going about their everyday lives. Hmm. Ah, this is also coming in 323. Oh man, I can't wait for 323. Let's go ahead and clear for takeoff. Let's go, Bravo. sir. Prep bay for takeoff. Copy that. Hangar, ready for launch. Take and, off crew Baron 2. You have the ball. And the people down there as well. Looks like this is when we finally get our license or something. I'm not sure. It might not be the first flight. Ready and hold on as you're launched off the deck of the carrier. I, I don't know. I wanna try this launch when you when you hold in the air and uh, and turn on the thrusters. Is if there is a way to launch like that or or move like that, start moving like that in Star Citizen. Please do let me know because uh, I wanna I wanna make that happen for a video. <laughs> And how it like blasts away also, it's super cool. We want you to not only decide how you play the game, but to feel as if the people you inter- I knew I loved space. That's why I started playing this game. I never knew that I liked starships as well, uh, that, that much, or spaceships. Psh. Interact with or in that world with you. I would have never thought a shotgun could be so pretty. That's a shotgun. R-97 is sleek as hell. Yeah. Like a lot of other weapons in Gemini's arsenal, it has a higher rate of fire than most guns of its time. Looks a bit, uh, doesn't look, ah, now I see the the repetitor there. But, but yeah, it looks like a machine gun, actually, not a shotgun. And the things you can do, We're yeah. We're working yeah. to support a feel of authenticity through world traversals, running, jumping, and climbing. Yeah, it's not gonna be repetitive. Interactions with objects and the environment. Ah, yeah. The classic, classic button mashing. Very good, can't leave that out. This is... Solid weapon gameplay and enemy reactions. Sweet. As well as combat realities, such whoa, 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 as weapon whoa. malfunctions. What? I mean, come on. Or in close encounters of the more lethal kind. Mm-hmm. <laughs> what is this? Oh, <coughs> awesome! A little bit of hurt in the morning. They still have to fix that. The, the knife went through his As neck. But continue to focus I see. On I the see. Quality experience. We've been working closely with I'd our outside of his neck, and it's been exciting to see their environments come to life alongside us. My goodness. While animation and design have been populating the location, LGG sync monitor nice. means making almost as good as mine in the quality of our characters and environments. We've established our standard with recognizable characters like Mark Hamill, Julian Anderson, and Gary Julian Oldman. Anderson. Uh, Gary Oldman, okay. This to the rest of the cast and identifying any remaining tech requirements that need to be closed out. Don't know who Gary Story Oldman is. Squadron 42 takes you through Julian a Anderson. variety of diverse locations of varying scales and styles. Obviously. We shared what? glimpses of several environments before, and there's still plenty out there for you to discover. 
freaking hell. One of the main challenges the R team has had to face during the development of Squadron 42 is ensuring the visuals are complementary to the narrative of the script. This is a screenshot. The mood and feeling of a space there you go. is just as important to us as it is making sure we hit the what visual quality the, the CIG has become known for. No oh, good, we can't have it from this side. Great. This looks like Area 18 city. Give us access. No, I'm afraid that's a negative, Steve. Uh, uh. I would have to add you to our system to give you override permissions. <laughs> and, uh, there's a lot involved in that. We'll have what? Do you just break through? Okay, we'll figure something out. Industrial city, uh, but but I'm not sure if it's Area 18 actually. Been heavily inspired by the classics of 70s and 80s sci-fi, but with a modern twist. We want everything you see to feel like it has a soul, its own personality, and tells of a history long before you arrived. Crafting interesting flight spaces and their connecting tissue has been one of the more unique challenges we've needed to overcome for Squadron. Developing our VDB tech to blend seamlessly between tighter traversal spaces and into wider space vistas and planets. This looks like something something out of a dream. Uh, and I don't mean the game, but I mean this scene and, and a lot of previous scenes as well. This is mind-blowing. And it's already finished, it's already there. Like, wow. ...has proved incredibly difficult but rewarding ensuring that Squadron flows seamlessly from one chapter to the next, without interruption. Creating a diverse array of locations is essential to us. Without interruption? So they mean uh, without, without loading screens at all? Impossible. I'm not buying it. Well, there has to be some kind of loading screen or something, come on. In a single player game between chapters, no interruptions. How can that be possible? We'll see, we'll see. Our environments need to work from a variety of scales. We need to pay close attention to detail, whether we're working in a dirty engineering event or navigating the debris of a dying star, wondering what may be around that next corner, or even who may live there, how dying will they have star. survived, and what state of mind may they be in. Uh, General Bishop or somebody, but yeah, everybody's at work. With our social teams in delivering a cohesive social experience when you're taking some downtime from our refined flight and FPS missions, or even missions of the more eerie kind. Ah, oh, yeah, this is where fear there will care. Don't worry about it. <laughs> I'll get us through the eerie kind missions. But this does look creepy though, yeah. We'll be introducing new space stations on a massive scale, all brought together and designed to be as tangible as possible. We thought about their function, their age, and tried to ensure there's a progression in artistic style with each station as you progress through the game. No way. He's carrying his helmet like I do on work. I didn't see that, I didn't know that. As you can see today, the teams are working incredibly hard, ramping up the detail and quality to match the breadth of our vision for Squadron 42. And it is a vision and a half. Now, I know you're all asking, when can I play it? Huh. When can I play it? When we have the locked release date, you will be the first to know. Now, we're in polishing phase on Squadron 42. You will start to see a lot more things coming to Star Citizen, as well as overall progress on the Persistent Universe. Awesome. Polish phase can take some time. We have come this far and we want to make sure Squadron 42 delivers on the promise of being this generation's wing commander. Psst. Now, even though there's only a few of us in this video, I'd like to extend a big thank you to all our staff around the globe. Yes. Who've been putting their heart and soul into bringing Squadron 42 to life. And I would like to thank everyone in the community for your patience. And I wish I was there before. To paraphrase Admiral Bishop, when people ask, what did you do in the development squadron 42? We held the line. Look them in the eye and say, I held the line. Ah, yeah. I'm proud to stand with you. Thank you for making this game with us. Wow. Ah, D. 
the the, the hostile race, the, the starting with an X. Xi'an or something like that. Now that's gonna be... This is gonna be just a, just a salt at the end. Keep holding the line because this is something else. So at the end, I mean, they send most of the crew from Star, uh, from Squadron 42 back to Star Citizen. So we're gonna start seeing much more features coming in Star Citizen now. I can't wait. I am so glad to be a part of this community again. Thank you very much. Stick around for all the videos that you guys suggest to me. I'm happy to do them, to watch them uh, through with you. I'll see you in the next one. Keep holding the line. Fish there out. Bye bye.